Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of April 24th through the 30th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Sending you guys so much love for a great week ahead. And let's tap into your energy. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember to give it a thumbs up, guys. Th uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Your May readings will be coming out next week. And so let's see what we've got for your week ahead. A bit of a tough struggle this week, but you're all right. I feel like some of you are afraid to make a move about something. You're still kind of thinking, weighing out your options, whatever that may be for you, whether it's job opportunities, whether it's uh, certain people should, I just heard whether or not you should keep certain people in your life right? That's valid. Okay, Pisces, that is valid. For some of you, uh, I feel like there's, um, this is a, a specific message for someone. Uh, bear with me. I'm getting, for some of you, you have overextended your patience and, you know, being nice to someone for far too long. I feel like you have this sense of responsibility to someone, and I think that there is still some parts of you that need to heal whatever this person or connection or relationship represents in your life or a chapter in your life. I feel like it's almost like, like you get choked up thinking about it. You, I'm also hearing you get choked up just thinking back to everything that you've had, uh, that you struggled with and that you've survived. And so if you still get choked up and you still feel like, you know, there's still some residual pain, even though I just feel like there's still some residual pain enduring a specific situation that you feel broke you or you felt on the verge of a breakdown. Like you just, you look back and you're like, how the hell did I go through that? How the hell did I survive that? How, how am I still standing? How am I? And, that, and, and you know what? You're holding on to this internal struggle. It's, it needs to be fully healed and released. I know that there are parts of you or most of you in your mind, you're thinking, yeah, that, that doesn't affect me anymore. That's not part of my life anymore. That no longer resonates with me is how I'm hearing it. However, if it still brings a lump to your throat, your voice cracking, if it still brings a tear to your eye or a sense of sadness for that part of your life, that chapter of your life, I feel like you're like what I'm envisioning Pisces for you. And some of you may be experiencing this feeling and, and not know, you're not sure how to explain it to anyone. But I feel like you looking back at your past, past pain, past traumas, um, past lessons that you've had to go through. And you're looking at old Pisces, the old version of you. And, and I feel like there's a part of you that wants to go back and you know, really hug yourself, really love yourself, really be there to let yourself know that everything's going to be okay. And I think that when you, it, when you see it through that lens and experience it, I know I'm getting really esoteric, but that's how I'm seeing it. Like I'm seeing different versions of you. And I feel like there's, you know, there's the Pisces of now, that's still reflecting, that still feels a sense of Pisces enduring past pain. It's still lingering in your energetic field, in your aura, in your mind, body, heart, soul, spirit. And I feel like future you, because you know how far you've come, but I feel like future you is here to remind you, hey, the worst is behind you. I just heard it. The worst is behind you. If you can get through that, you can get through anything. And I think that you know that, but there's still a lot of emotions you're holding on to, feeling inside, you know, with this hanged man energy. I mean, it's all blue and glowing, 
blue, green, you know, that's and like a little bit of purple there, that's really those chakras that really need to be healed and cleared, right? Your crown, your third eye, your heart, your throat chakra. There's a lot of emotions going on within you. And when you start to clear away any of that old energetic pain, debris, whatever you feel is in your auric field. And, and, and some of you, I feel like you can't even explain it, but it's making so much sense to you as I'm saying it. Um, I, I feel like that is a lot of what kind of keeps you hanging. What kind of, oh, and I heard it, what kind of keeps you hanging around this person or situation? That's what keeps old Pisces, Pisces from the past. That's what keeps that Pisces energy of old pain and trauma lingering and so I feel like this is constantly on your mind even though you've made it through so so many like tough times and turbulent energies right and now you've got so many options like do I relive the past I feel like she's reliving the past here and you're just like how do I get rid of the ghosts from the past what was sent to hurt me and harm me how do I rejoice and continue building a happy life, joy, contentment, abundance, prosperity. I do feel like you're already there, but there's still a part of you that that old Pisces keeps getting pulled back. And you know it because the three of wands that's here three of wands is here it's like waiting for your ships to come in i feel like you're waiting for that prosperity of your future you're waiting for that next chapter in your life to just not even just present itself because i feel like it already has but to like oh here i am let me push you into it because i feel like this card should show somebody pushing that person towards those ships instead of waiting around on the edge right and you know if you're not ready, you're not ready. I'm not saying, you know, hurry up and jump. But if you're wondering why you haven't been able to or why you're procrastinating or why you still feel fearful even after everything, it's because you haven't fully released and healed. Um, I'm not saying you haven't at all. What I'm saying is that part of your healing needs to be closed, right? It needs to be completed, fulfilled, put behind you, healed so much to the point that when you think back and look back and, and remember that, it no longer um, brings this cloud of sadness. And if anything, it brings a sense of, you know, of, of completion, like, wow, I can't believe I, I went through that. I'm, you know, acknowledgement I'm, that you're a lot stronger than you ever realized, you know, and giving yourself some grace and some credit for the way you handle things, especially if you're a single parent, uh, because I do see like how in the world, like I see somebody here looking back, like how do I keep putting on a brave face to move forward, right? So I've got a few uh, messages coming through, but I feel like first, let's give Pisces a message of how do they get through this what do they need to do? I mean, I'm hearing fully heal, right? Nine of Pentacles. And I feel with the Nine of Pentacles, um, you know, this is feeling a little bit more, you know, contentment with how far you've come, uh, being grateful for the current state of your life and everything that you have, acknowledging that you've been able to uh, in a, in essence, start over again. And if you feel like you haven't, you feel like there's still some sort of responsibility to whatever this is from your past. I, I'm really seeing very clearly here that as you start embarking on new journeys, new chapters in your life, it does make it easier for you to continue to do the healing process because you're not, not so bogged down with the pain and everything that you've gone through. Now you've got a different focus. Now it, it's focusing and shifting your focus 
onto what brings you happiness, what brings you joy, what brings you, what, oh, and I just heard it, what brings back the happiness and passion and lust for life back into your life, right? I feel, I feel like I just heard some of you guys are kind of like in this ho-hum mood, like having a blah life. And, you know, I feel like, like as a collective, quite a few people are kind of going through that simply because we're trying to pick up the pieces after a pandemic and a lockdown, right? Like craziness. Who would have thought, right? But I do feel that as you shift your focus onto building upon new, on reinforcing, you know, and being grateful for everything that you've gone through, good or bad, knowing that you've gone through the worst, knowing that you can better get a handle of old things as well as whatever else comes your way, right? Now, I feel I feel one more card before I move on to future, future self, future Pisces. Oh my God, the star card. So this is exactly what will happen when you shift your focus. Healing will take place. You will no longer pour from an empty cup. You'll feel more emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically well balanced. You'll feel more grounded. You'll also start to feel hopeful not for this next chapter in your life you're about to embark, but, you know, for future chapters. I feel like you've got way more experiences that you'll be embarking on that you you have no idea. You have no idea. Some of you will travel. Some of you will meet. Um, I'm hearing some of you will meet some very influential people that will help you get ahead in certain areas of your life. I'm also hearing for some of you, Pisces, a big promotion. I know none of that is here, but I feel like if you felt passed on or unnoticed at work and simply like a part of you kind of feels like you got dinged or whatever, like they passed you. But I also feel like at the same time, you're like, oh, I don't know how I would have handled that when I was going through all that stuff I was going through. Right. So maybe it is a good thing. And maybe if you're not there, <laughs> like what I'm saying, I, I feel like that spirit's way of telling you, you know, that's exactly how you should, you know, uh, turn your idea or your view or your focus about it so that you're better able or better equipped to be able to handle new positions, new ideas, new businesses, new partnerships, new friendships, new loves, whatever it is that the I, I feel like whatever it is, Pisces, let's be real. I feel like whatever big changes are coming your way. It's something that you would have never, bold neon letters, never imagined or envisioned for yourself, whatever that may be, okay? Maybe some of you went from being a stay-at-home mom to suddenly you're like a CEO. You, you have this great idea. You know, it's like huge leaps and bounds for you, seriously, and and. And it's about getting away from this four of cups energy, feeling like nothing will ever make you happy. And there's no, you know, person, place, thing, situation in your life making you happy right now. And therefore, how can anything else come your way that will make you happy? And that's part of the pessimistic viewpoint that you really, really need to let go of. I feel that the more you really, the more you focus on that type of energy, the more you focus on past hurts, past pains, past traumas, if you need professional uh, therapeutic help, psychology, whatever it may be. Some of you may need some professional um, help to get past, you know, pain that is felt on a deeper level subconsciously, right? So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Pisces, future self has a message for you. Pisces, future self has a message for you. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Again, in a much bigger position than you view yourself. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, she's got a balance on everything, right? Money, career, finance, home life, nurturing, mother, partner, uh, spouse, um, 
she's got some really radical ideas that sound far-fetched at some point and like will easily manifest a positive outcome. Money is looking good. There was a lot to celebrate. And I did say I'm feeling like a promotion or like increase. And I feel like this is big money coming your way. So big that you will most definitely be celebrated. Uh, do we have another message for, yes, yeah, see, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords. So once you let go, future Pisces wants you to know, the future you, wants you to know that once you let go of what was meant to break you and hurt you and tear you down, once you let this shit go and start walking, welcoming in this star energy of healing, ooh, and I just heard, whether you're male or female, but feeling very empowered by the goddess within you, whatever that means to you. What will make you feel like a goddess? You're harnessing your goddess energy. If you're a male, apply it to your situation in terms of feeling, you know, like a god, feeling like a king, feeling, you know, more spiritually, mentally, emotionally empowered, financially empowered. What would make you feel more confident, more secure in your own well-being, in, you know, putting yourself out there? You know, Page of Wands is good news, is new offers coming in, and they start rolling in. They start rolling in once you let go of the Ten of Swords, because again, the worst is behind you. That's why you've got the Page of Wands there. Yep, Four of Swords. So you've taken the time to really think and overthink situations. Congratulations, Pisces. But at the same time, Use your time wisely. If you're going to think and overthink situations, make sure your body is rested. Make sure you nourish, nourish your mind, body, soul, spirit. Eating a healthy diet, drinking lots of water, staying hydrated, going for a walk, doing some exercises. But spirit is saying, you also have to feed your mind. Instead of overthinking, instead of worrying, instead of anxiety and depression and sadness, start feeding your mind positivity. Instead of worrying about something, replace that thought with three things people, places, things, situations that you're grateful for. Start training your body to react in a positive way to gratitude rather than a very harsh and depleting way to worry. Because I'm hearing like every time you worry about something, your, your body's like in this fight or flight shock mode of like, oh my God, how much more of this can we handle? But when you start changing that to, okay, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. Thank God I still have my health. Thank God I still have my job. Oh my God. Thank goodness. I'm so happy. Regardless of what I've gone through, I'm so happy I still have this. I'm so happy I still have that. I'm so happy that I'm able to do this or go here. However, insignificant or significant it may be you start retraining your body to react more more positively than negatively so we've got the new moon solar eclipse at the end of this week which is bound to bring up a lot of this heavy energy and look at that i pulled the queen of the moon oracles and so that is what came out. They came out in reverse. I feel like there is resistance to change here with you. You've got the card of change in reverse and discernment. Um, they're both in reverse. Not a single one of my cards is in reverse. So that's serious. This is spirit saying, listen, stop being so resistant to change. Stop being impulsive and reacting and arguing 
and I'm, you know, you're arguing for your limitations. You're arguing for, you know, a negative place in your life or, or something that has been a close chapter in your life and you're arguing to keep it still, in, you know, towards the forefront or just behind whatever is currently going on in your life. And I feel like it's time for you to really, really, I mean, look at all these blues. Connect with your higher self, connect with yourself, connect with your future self, do a meditation and ask future you to give you some enlightenment, some clarity. What's the next step? Show me, you know, in a way that you understand. And that's how you're able to better connect with your higher self and, you know, spirit guides, guardian angels, the energies of the universe, discernment. Um, having discernment is being very clear about what it is that, you know, something is when it presents itself to you, right? And knowing that you're making an informed decision, knowing that uh, if something doesn't feel right, you're not afraid to ask questions. If somebody, you know, is kind of holding back on information, vital information that you may need, I feel like some of you um, maybe haven't been willing to ask questions and so you kind of just take what they say at face value and just kind of go along with that and you know especially to people that are trying to and I just heard it some of you maybe you know may have people that are trying to force change on you whether good or bad but I feel like they're trying to force change on you and that's not something that you want to do I feel like you feel a sense of losing control of your life and so you've been resistant to change, but you've been resistant to change because you don't have all the pictures and you know it. And so you've kind of just been staying stagnant or going along with whatever seems easy at the time. So some of you, I do feel like you've been a little bit resistant to change and growth and you've done just enough to kind of get people off your back is how I'm hearing it. Okay. So be mindful of that, that if you decide to make big changes in your life, that you have all the information and that you are making clear level headed decisions. You know, remember we all have free will. Don't let anybody bully you or force you into making changes in your life that you don't want to, but also is it a, a, a fear of change in a form, uh, you know, resistance to change because it's it's fearful and you've grown accustomed to a certain way of life where it's almost self-sabotaging your future, your growth. And I feel like some of you may need to take a step back and really look at, okay, if I were to go along with this change, what would it bring to me? Is it a bad change? Is it going to hurt me? Is it going to hurt my family, my finances? Am I just being stubborn? <laughs> you know? Goddess guidance. Look at that. More blue and purple. Seriously, like, you guys really need to connect with your higher self, with your intuition. Uh, you're definitely with that card of discernment. It's absolutely saying you really need to connect with your higher self, with your third eye, with your crown chakra, your heart chakra. So, you know, stay aligned, stay in alignment, stay grounded. But, you know, Goddess Irene here says, this is a moment of peace for you. And I heard peace and transition. So it's okay to be open to change instead of fearful of change. Because when you're fearful of change, this is the message I'm getting right now, and when you're fearful of change, the universe will make those changes for you without giving you an option, okay? So there is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. Okay, Pisces, that is your weekly reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, your playlist is here. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. Your May reading will come out shortly as I'm working on those right after this. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me or do some Reiki energy healing, that information is in the description box below. If I remember, I will post it in the comments as well. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.